Welcome to Viking Tools for Revit. In this video, I'll be loading a Revit family directly from the Viking Group website using only Revit standard commands. We will not be using the Viking Tools for Revit in this example. I will be selecting a Viking 6-inch model J1 wet valve. Here I have a blank project open, just from a standard Revit mechanical template. I'm using Revit 2019 for this session. I'm going to begin by creating just a very simple piping network of 6-inch pipe. First I'll select systems, then pipe system, and start to lay out my piping system. I'll run a short run of pipe at 9 feet then drop down to 1 foot so that I have a vertical pipe section that might be our system riser. Let's look at the pipe from a sectional view. I'm going to set the visibility to fine and you'll see the vertical section where I will be inserting my valve. This is the default pipe type from Revit and you will see that you can connect our pipe family to virtually any pipe type. I will not be using the supplied Viking pipe types in this example. The first thing we'll need to do is to go to the Viking website and navigate to the valves page. I'm going to download a, a J1 alarm valve, so I navigate to the alarm valve page. On that page you'll see the Revit family is available for download from the documents and resource section. Select the Viking wet valve model J and then save the file to your computer. Use the Save As option to select the folder where you wish to store the downloaded family. I have created a separate folder so that I always know where to go uh, for my saved families from manufacturers or from Viking or, or anyone else's uh, families that I may have downloaded from the web. There will be a saved zip file and you simply need to extract that file so that you will now have two files. The two files will have the same name but will have different file type extensions. The RFA file is the geometry of the family and the TXT file contains the dimensions and data associated with the various valve sizes. We have all of the available sizes for this valve in one family, so the three, four, and six inch valves are all in one. These two files must always stay together in your folder, otherwise the desired options when selecting the valve size you want uh, will not give you the desired results. Go back to the Revit project and select Insert from the Revit ribbon, then select a load family from the ribbon. Navigate to your folder, select the valve family. You will not see the text file, only the file the family file name. You'll be looking at the RFA file. The family will now be loaded into the project and a dialog appears with various options that you can select from. You can scroll through this and look at the different options for this particular family. You'll see multiple sizes, groove groove options, flange groove, flange flange. You can select multiple options from this example, but I'll only select the 6 inch groove by groove with vertical trim. That selection is now loaded into our project and available from the family selection of the project browser under pipe accessories. This is the category of the family defined by Revit for use in the project. Select the 6 inch groove groove family, drag it into the model, connecting it to the vertical 6 inch pipe. You can rotate the valve to the desired position using the standard Revit editing options. Let's look at the shaded model and view it in 3D to admire your new creation. That's how to download and load a Viking family from our website using only basic Revit commands. Our Viking Tools for Revit options 
simplify the process, so you might want to consider installing our tool. They're free. We have other videos on our site to demonstrate the various other tools available from Viking Tools for Revit. Thanks for watching.